Metal wide body. Look how dang well this fits. The bolts are just finger tight. But look at that. It fits literally perfect. So what's up YouTube? We're gonna see if these custom front fenders fit pretty well without a very minimal modification. Let's see. I originally wanted to buy these fenders for my WRX, but we just custom made them. Here's the company that makes them. They're the same same company that makes all the over fenders for uh, Elvis, the owner of Stance Nation, and all the Southern California Stance cars. But I'm gonna see if I can bolt them on the front and see how well they fit. So what's the coolest thing about these fenders is he welds on little things. So you look, they're bolt on. Like they're custom metal wide body and depending on, they're universal so we don't know how well it's gonna fit. But technically, you just drill these holes, put it on and if it fits decent, paint it and there you go. And then radius, radius the actual fender. So you get that extra clearance. So you can see they're just welded on studs. My worry is I don't know how accurately I can drill these holes. Let's see. Oh God. So pretty much I kind of knew this from my measurements, but off his website. Hmm. But from there to there, I think the radius is pretty much like the height of these is pretty much perfect. But see how I mean, it's like, I don't know how this is gonna line up or I'm gonna measure for these holes. So I'm gonna try to put minimal effort, but just enough to make it on there and look decent. So this line is there and that's the same line. So I have to measure pretty much from this line, that line, how high on each side. Like how big of a gap between that line. And then I kind of got a center line and a center line. So I probably drill these first, bolt them on, and then start to push this on and kind of gauge where these land and slowly drill really small holes and see how this goes because this isn't formed exactly perfect so it's gonna have to be pulled a little bit which is gonna be interesting but yeah I'm going for it drilled the first hole uh, kind of make sure it's even over there press this down it's kind of where it's landing, so let's drill that and see what happens. So probably about six minutes into the install, I got two holes drilled. Let's see how it goes. So there it is. It's not bolted on, it's just compression fit on there. Doesn't look half bad. But look. Now my wheels fit. Oh god. Now my wheels fit. Because they don't really fit right here. And that's why this is getting messed up. But now I get to cut this off. Which is perfect. But it's pretty subtle. Let's see if I can put this back on. Oh. 
it's not tight, so when I do tighten it, but look at the fitment. It's not tight up there. There's a bolt right there. So once all the bolts in, it'll be super tight fitment. Just primer and paint them. Maybe sand them a little bit, but they're already smooth. And boom. Metal wide body in 30 minutes. These are completely universal, so I could, mm, I probably couldn't because of that flare, but it would take way more work because you have the door to open and you have the rear fender. So this is bolt on and I'll show you my WRX, like what I mean by the door. So this is completely custom. This isn't have to do anything with that dude, but these are made by Fantasy Colors. And this was the detail it would take to make a flare on a WRX by the door. Look at the door gap. You have to make a custom uh, rear bumper piece. But yeah, on my WRX I have these front and rear, but this is a cheaper solution and you can bolt, I'd say 30 minutes per side. Just bolt them on and then you can send it and crash and not have to worry about it too much. If I even got a chip in this, my life would be over, but this doesn't matter. So I got the other one on, but you might be wondering why I don't have a fender on. Well, it's dark out and it's cold I want to go home, so I was rushing, like I said earlier, and I kind of drilled through my wiring harness. And I don't want to talk about it. So it looks like I'm coming back tomorrow, but I can show you how well this fits. So I have it. Look at this line. Crazy. Look how dang well this fits. The bolts are just finger tight. But look at that. It fits literally perfect. I don't know why you'd want. These are like $30 more than eBay fiberglass vendors. I think I paid like $190 for these. It's freaking crazy. And I haven't radius this yet, but look, this is where uh, my tire was grabbing my fenders. So this is why I'm going over fenders. But now I got finger and a half gap. Yeah, so it was literally splitting the metal from my tire rubbing so much. You see the bolts. I'm probably gonna do, I'm probably gonna trim these and do some nylon lock washers. But yeah. I'd say check these fenders out. Literally, hold on, focus. I'd say check these fenders out. Literally 30 minutes per side. Primer, 30 minutes per side, primer and paint, and you're good to go. I'm so mad at myself. Two wires are completely ripped off. Which are these two? 
I did it twice. One right there. They're all like half chewed, so I'm gonna solder them and then shrink wrap them. And there's more over here. It's the next day and I'm fixing my dumb mistakes. I don't have the right size shrink wrap, so it's just big, but I fixed a couple wires, I think. <clears throat> I don't know, four or five. Waiting for this big ass wire to cool down so I can put the shrink wrap on. <clears throat> but I'm almost done with the all the wires over here. I think I have two left. But then I have to do all of these. Fuck. All right, after I think 19 wires damaged, I think I can wrap this back up. So pro tip, don't drill into your harness because that fucking sucks. Most of the engine stuff's on that side. This is like headlights and weird stuff like that. Oh my God, I, that's gotta be from like a tire. I'll just wrap those. So I think the only thing, no, I still think fuel pumps on the other side. So I don't think anything like drivability wise is on this side, but yeah, still sucks. Oh well. Okay, rewrapped it with electrical tape. Tucked it as high as I can. Make sure it doesn't touch right here. Which is a really common area. But yeah, now the fender can go back on. Or the fender isn't mounted right now. Uh, bolts are still loose. But look how well that fits. Now I can go lower a little bit get some of the monster truck out. I think that's gonna do it for this video. It's just a quick install. Uh, I still need a primer and paint them. But other than that, it's all done. I'll put a link for the flares in the description, but see you in the next video.